the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. George's Story Time Rainbow Special. Hello, everyone. I'm George Buxton. Guess what? It's time for a story. Now, this time, we're moving on to Rainbow now, because Jeffrey Hayes, the presenter who presented Rainbow, had now passed away from a couple of days ago. And what better way to, to celebrate this life by reading this special book, and it's called Down on the Farm, as seen on Thames Television, the oldest company from London. Now, when you hear this sound, Hello, everyone! You will know that it's rainbow. So, are you ready? Here we go. Down on the farm. One morning, Bungle, Sippy and George go to spend a day on Green Acre Farm. Mrs. Hayseed, the farmer's wife, is busy feeding the hens. Uh, how many hens are there? says George. Well, let's count them, says Bungle. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, said Sippy. Come and help me collect the eggs, said Mrs. Hasey. Uh, we better not drop any or they will break, says George. You hold the basket, George, and I'll put the eggs in, says Sippy. I like brown eggs best, says Bungle. They put all the eggs in a basket, brown eggs and white eggs. Bungle, Sippy and George go to the orchard to see Captain the horse. Here's an apple for you, type, says Sippy to Captain. Oh, oh, he's not trying to get my fingers. Oh, cries poor George. Stop it, stop it. He thinks they're made of sugar, says Bungle. Horses like sugar. Bungle goes off to watch Farmer Hayseed feed the pigs. He leans over the side of the pigsty. Be careful, Bungle, says the farmer. Don't lay too far, too far off the fence. But, help, I'm falling, says Bungle, as he falls into the pigsty. <laughs> Poor Bungle, he's covered in mud. He has to wash himself under the water pump. <laughs> oh dear, this water's cold, he says. Uh, turn on the hot tip, says George. Don't have hot taps, said Sippy. Everyone knows that. <laughs> what well, I didn't, uh, says George. When Bungle is dry, they go down to the meadow. Uh, open a gate, Bungle, to let the sheep in, calls Tom the shepherd. Ooh, look at Josh, the sheep dog, says Sippy. Ooh, isn't Josh clever? says George. Look at the way he brings the sheep down from the hill. <laughs> when the sheep are all in a field, Tom and Father Hasty take two into a shed. They start to clip off the sheep's wool. We are shearing the sheep, Father Hasty says to Bungle, Sippy and George. They watch as the sheep lose their fleecy coats as the farmer shears the wool off their backs. Bungle, Sippy and George help to pile up the fleeces in a corner. Sippy nearly gets lost in a big pile of wool. Wool keeps us warm, doesn't it? says Sippy. Oh, thank you, Mr. Sheep, for giving us your wool for our jumpers and keeping us warm, says George. Thank you for our lovely woolly hats, says Bungle. I'd like a woolly hat, says George. I'll ask Mrs. Hazy to make one for you, says the farmer. Mrs. Hazy asks Sippy and George to help her in a farm shop. They have a lovely time selling butter, cheese, cream, jam, crusty bread, and eggs. Ooh, I like being a shopkeeper, says George, as he wraps up some cheese for a customer. I'd like working in a shop too, says Sippy. He eats a slice of bread and jam. Mmm, <coughs> yummy, yummy, nice for my chubby, <laughs> he says. You've all done very well, said Mrs. Hasty, as they leave the farm to go home. Come again in the springtime when the plants are born. So they do. They all come back in the, in the springtime. Bungle feeds a baby lamb with a bottle of milk. 
George picked a bunch of yellow primroses from a wood near the farm. He gave them to Mrs. Hayseed for being so kind. Sippy finds himself another piece of lovely bread and jam to eat. Mmm, <laughs> yummy yum! They all enjoy their days at the farm. Well, viewers, well, we hope you enjoyed this uh, rainbow story down on the farm. Now, and as I should say, Jeffrey Cash passed away, you will be missing. Rest in peace, Jeffrey Cash. Forgot. 1942. And hopefully, um, we will carry on as normal as we go along. So until next time, viewers, bye-bye, everyone. See you again soon. Bye-bye.